God, praise God, praise God. I'm so happy to be standing before you today. Uh, my name is Waswa William Chibalama. And I'm a minister of this church. Uh, this week is the youth ministry week. And I am so happy to be standing before you again. Um, we want to thank our pastors. Our head pastor, Pastor Moses Semanda. And the wife, Miss Hopkins. Uh, pastor Dethan. Kadu, and the wife Janet, plus our pastor Elijah Kambugu, and the beautiful wife Gladys Kambugu. Um, I'm going to be talking about faith. Uh, before I start, I would like to talk about our theme of this year as the Youth of Gospel Messengers Church. Uh, our theme came from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 33. Uh, in summary, we, uh, our, our slogan from the, from the verse says, putting God first. In the, in the verse, in the, in the chapter, Matthew chapter 6 verse 3 says, Matayo, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness no. and all these things shall be added unto you. So that's where we, we, we came up with a slogan that says uh, putting God in the driver's seat. So I'm I'm going to be talking about um, how, how are we going to be able to put God in the driver's seat. So the first, the first thing that is going to keep God in the, in the driver's seat and it is one of the most important Thing that we have to do to, to, to make it that Jesus keeps in the driver's seat. Um, first, I'm going to be, I'm going to be um, talking about this uh, under a kingdom perspective. Uh, my fellow youth of this church, there is nothing we are going to do before God to, live, to, to praise God, to, to, to make him feel, feel all that you want him to do for you. Through your struggles, through your endeavors, through all you want, through your dreams, through your purposes. Without having faith, without faith, without faith, you get nothing from the kingdom. The only, thing, the only thing that can keep you, that can keep God to, to be kept in the driver's seat on your side in front of you is you, you have to have faith for you to experience the kingdom in your life, to experience the kingdom on earth, you have to be able to have faith. 
to have the faith to have the trust to have the belief that whoever you have put in front of you is able to take you wherever you want to go. So I'm going to be talking about faith first. As faith, we can look at uh, the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Uh, it best uh, gives the, the, the correct uh, their definition of faith in the biblical perspective. So now faith is the substance of things hoped for. For the evidence of things not seen. Now to 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 an individual. Uh, this is in the in the kingdom perspective. Where is your trust? What do you trust? Who do you trust? Uh, my fellow believers, the youth. Uh, we need to understand that we are in a kingdom calling. If we stand in a kingdom calling, we have to understand that if we are talking about a kingdom, the kingdom is led by a king. For you to be able to, to, to recognize someone as a king before you, it means you've been able to believe what they have said. You have total to, to trust that whatever you need, whatever you desire in life, whatever you think will make you to be that person that you want to be before before. before the king. You have to have the faith that anything you want before that person is 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 from him. Um, from the Greek, uh, from the Greeks, the uh, faith. Uh, it means uh, the Greek word faith um, from the new uh, from the New Testament. Faith it means uh, p- uh, pistis. Pistis. Uh, from the new from the from New Testament uh, faith. This means that the in, this indicates the belief for conviction with a. Comp- with a complementary idea of trust. Um, faith is not a mere intellectual stance, but an action that leads to action. A belief, but a belief that leads to action. Let's look uh, in the book of James chapter 2 verse six, uh, 26. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is also dead. My fellow youth of this church, our slogan of this year says putting God, putting God in the driver's seat. What are we doing to 
to put God to keep God in the driver's seat. Okusobola okuletira katonda okuba mu kifo cyo mugoba. What do we trust? What have we decided? What have we decided to trust? Tusazewo kwesiga chi. What have we decided to believe? Tusazewo kukiririza mu chi. So so that we are able to have God in the driver's seat. Tusobole okubanga katonda ali mu kifo echo echo mugoba. Now we need to understand first. Tuteko kusoko kutegera. That for you to believe someone to be able to be in the driver's seat has you need to first know how they do their things. Ntigwe okusobola okuteka omuntu okubera mu kifo echo mugoba. Omugobawo oteko okusobola okusoko kutegera engeri je bakola mu bye bakola. You need to know their their nature. Oteko kutegere chikacha echikula chabwe who they are bichi bichi che bali what makes them the, the way they are or who they are chiche chibaletera okuba echo che bali and what is their driving goal where what is the purpose of them driving you being being in the in, in the driver's seat eranga chirubirirwa chiche bali na okuberanga basobola okukubera omugobawo uh, james talks about demonstrating his the, his his work often what we do says more about what we believe Ebisere, than what we say Ebisere, uh, during this generation that is full of uh, experimentations Why am I saying that? We are in a we are in a a hela tuli mu mulembe where we are doing a lot of experimentations ngatukola okugezesa kunji nyo which against god is word god is commandments atengo okugezesa kuno kwetukola kukontana no byagiro bya katonda we are having female to female relationships osanga kati enkola gana eri wakati wo mukazi no mukazi ngaba fumbo we are having male and female relationships no osanga ne enkola gana ya basaje na bakazi etali ntufu i wonder what we are looking after ne unya no kweunya chichiche tunonya But my call for you is to understand na ye omulanga gwa mmoje omulanga gwange jemuli guli okubanga tutegera and to have total trust in what you believe in no kuba no bwesige obwana madala mwecho chokirizamu and make sure era kakasanti you get ready to be tested or wete kateka okugezesebwa and when you're tested era bogezesebwa get ready to give results of the tests from the weteke teke okuwa ebinava mugezesebwoko now a common example for that illustrates our faith echo kulabira ke cha echa bulijjo echo leka okukiriza is no more that of a chair ye ke kabonero ke ntebe i believe a chair can hold my weight nzikiriza anti entebe esobola kuwanirira obuzito bwange but not until you sit into it that Nai, you say it can hold your, your, n- your weight echo uh, chokos uh, sobolo chitegera ngo maze kujitula mu entebe now this type of faith for for, for salvation okukiriza kuno kwa bulokozi we can first look at it uh, in the book of hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 twinzo okulaba mu beblani ya esule yo mukago esule yo mukaga Without faith it is impossible to please God. Esule 10 mwe nyoro mukaga nti abatali kukiriza kizibu tekisoboka kusanyusa katonda. My fellow my fellow citizens. Banange batuze banange. Why do why do I say citizens? Rachi ngamba batuze banange. Because if I said members. Kubabwe na gamba abamu kuchibinja. At what at one point I think members do, don't have power most of the times because they are always led kubanga nzikiriza anti bobero obezo mu kuchibinja olusu bato ina na buyinza but if you are a citizen of a nation na yebo obera omutuze owe owe kitundu obe gwanga you have power to make a difference olino busobozi na amanyi okuteka wenja ulo you have the courage to stand strong olino buvumu obwo kuyimirira to give out what you have no wa echo choloza bacho olina Faith is very important. Okukiriza chikulu nyo. Faith 
Without it, we cannot please God. You can do all the rituals you want. You can pray. You can fast. But without faith, you cannot please God. That means if we are willing and ready and encouraged in Him, that we trust to get what we want. We must be ready to give our trust to Him. Um, in the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 8 to 10. For by, by grace we have been saved from through faith. And that, this is not by our own doing. It is the gift of God. Not as a result of our works. So we shouldn't boast in our works. Because our works have not given us the salvation. The salvation from whatever, from our sin, from our challenges of life, from all sorts of trouble that may come your way as a believer, as a citizen in the kingdom of God. So we should understand through the grace we have the faith that we got the salvation and that salvation, we should have faith that we are that we are of good before the king. Faith is an active trust in God. Belief in what he says is true result in action. What actions do you do? That is, you're going to believe in the word. What does the word say? What does the word say upon your life? What does the word say to the challenges before you? So we should stand in, tr in truth, in belief, that whatever we want, we are going to get it through faith. Um, when we look, we read, we look uh, uh, um, in, the, in the New Testament, we need to know and understand for every activity and for every miracle and for every sign, it was for the right purpose to, to, to show up something or to feel to fulfill some prophecies that were made in the Old Testament. That means for you to understand that you need to, you need you had to have faith. My dear believers, it is not something that is very easy. Uh, Jesus had a very challenge with uh, a very big challenge with his disciples. 
for, to, to, uh, in very in very many events the believers showed lack of faith that means they had something else in their mind according to to, to what they were seeing and all that they were going through. In the beginning, uh, uh, before Jesus, in, in, in Jesus' coming, during his choice of his disciples, he always presented his reason of coming. And he narrated, he narrated all He's going and how he will be uh, he will be he will be persecuted by 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 the the religious leaders. He narrated the that he was going to be nailed on the cross. And before that the the the, 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 is, the disciples had a different perspective because they were talking about a king and they thought it was this king that was, you know, going somewhere and in the end they were going to be sitting with him, being with him in, uh, you know, in some glory on earth. Now that was a very big challenge to their faith. What do you see before you? As you seated in a car that is being driven by someone you trust. Right now we are in the kingdom and we, we are seeing God as a, our driver. Are you ready to, 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 to run with your king? through the bumpy roads through the deep, the deep valleys of full of water and fire and all thoughts of uh, thorns and stones and still, to, and still stand to have faith and trust in him ladies and gentlemen we need to have faith for all that we believe for before the king. My fair youth, we have trusted many people before us. We have trusted money. We have trusted our gadgets. We have trusted our girlfriends, boyfriends. But that has not yielded a lot of faith in us. Instead, it has broken our faith. Why is that so? It's due to the challenges, the different changes that, that have happened and have broken the chain. We need to understand that life is full of mysterious experiences. As, as a believer in God, we must be ready to expect disappointments as believers of God. Why am I saying that? Whenever your faith is up to the king and you have the trust and belief in his word, you're not going to face the appearance of challenges before you. Um, faith must be exercised actually to produce results. We must understand how to, to, minimize, to maximize faith 
Tuteke duo kumanya engeli yoku sukulumi amu okukiriza. Because faith it's the only way the just are expected to live. Kubango kukiriza yengeli yoka abatu kilivu mwebasobolo kubela abalamu. In whatever you do. Mubyo nabi okola. Wherever you are, wana wali, as long as you are a living human, omulamu, that possesses the image of God, you have to understand. You have to, to, to be able to know. Kumanya, in whatever you have faith in, at one time, ogumu, it's going to be tested. And through that test, you will be able to understand what do you what you believe in. Whether, whether it is internal or ex, whether it is internal or earthly. Obanga chabula mo buta guawo oba chakunsi. Uh, my fellow believers, there are questions in life that we can never answer. Waliwe bibuzo mbula mo ebita sobola kudiguamo. So we should settle at that. Tuino kumanye cho that you you never going to answer every question before you. So I beg you settle in whatever you are doing. In the faith you are in the faith and keep your faith at that. There are questions in life that we will never explain. Now, these are some of the challenges that come that that come our way in our on, on, on the Lord in of our of our faith. As a believer, as a as a as a, a citizen of of the kingdom. I beg you should know that. There are questions in life that we will never change. There are things in life that we will never change. You can change you cannot change me to a woman and you have to leave that to God. There are things in life that we can't control. We cannot control death. So keep your faith and know that it is for God. There are things in life that we are not responsible for. My dear believers, you need to know that we are not, there are things in life that you are not responsible for. You are not responsible for your relative's death. So know that and leave it to God. There are things in life that we can never exceed. So you can never exceed your knowing. So I say, Always in life expect the best. And prepare for the worst. Uh, Jesus always pre- prepared his disciples. Always showing him the best and sh- sh- giving him uh, the best. Of, of what they should believe in and the reasons why they should have faith. So that's why I say, like, always in life, expect the best and prepare for the worst. Do all you can and leave the rest to God. That is the, the, the one way you are able to, ma- to maximize your faith. Faith. And you're able to keep in the to keep God in the driver's seat. So I say let God be God before you. There are things only God knows. There are things only God can do. 
There are things only God understands. So I, I ask, do not go trying to know everything because you won't. There are things only God can explain. Only, only God can give you a reason of existence. Only God can give you the purpose of your existence. The only way you're able to get all that only way you're able to get all that he says have faith in him it is only through faith that everything is possible before you for that reason, know your, know your limits and let God be God. You must, know, you must know what is your limit. You must know what is not your responsible, what you're not responsible for. And you, you should know what is your responsibility. You must expect you must expect what you can do and what you don't know, leave it to God. Uh, many times I've been speaking with some people and they've been having challenges. And my main point that I, I normally looked at and it is most of the times a big challenge is their faith. I've talked to many youth and my advice youth of this, of this church um, and many other people that are older than me and, you know, they are ministers in this church. And my college has been always, in order for you to maximize your, 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 your faith, uh, you, should, you should at least join a ministry. Because most of the time, times what you do not attach yourself to will never, come, will never be accounted to you. So, I always advise people to, if you, if you are a member, do not stop, do, do, not, do not only be a member. But at least get involved. In get involved in the ministry. That alone will help you. Build your trust. Build your belief. In the end you'll be you'll be a might man or a might woman of God. Kingdom faith submits to its unlimited God. When your faith is, is tested in o God, you should, you should always and always submit it to, to, the, to the almighty God. Our, great, our most great example is about our, our uh, the, the King David. In the book of Psalms, chapter 131, verse 10. This is what the King David says. Uh, my eyes are not lifted up. Uh, my heart is not lifted up. I do not occupy myself with things too great or too marvelous for, my, for me. So this I uh, was reading a different version. Let me read this. Uh, my heart is not naughty. 
hati no my my eyes lost lost lofty either to do i exercise myself in great matters or in things too high for me <laughs> uh, my dear believe my dear believers bakiriza banange we should understand tutekedwa kutegera that your pride nti amalala go in what you know mwebyo byomanyi is actually nothing stegali mukabuntu and it's not going to take you anywhere era tegaina je gajja kutwala so i suggest you humble yourself kale no chemba kubiriza okukakana in great humility mubukaka mu obwechitalo and have faith erobere no kukiriza david had much faith david yaino kukiriza okwa waguru and had much trust in god era yaino obwesige mukatondo bwamanyi for what he had made him do and what he had made him go through that was able to, 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 to speak about how he felt before his king Now, god is solution to our, to our faith uh, problems we should understand that problems are every problem is temporary no matter what challenge you go through it's just a temporary just know it's just temporary and the book of Matthew chapter 17 to uh, verse 20 Matayo 10:13 uh, we look at what the king said king jesus said he said to them because of your little faith for i truly said unto you uh, you have faith if you have faith as little as a master seed You, you said to this mountain move here to there and it will move nothing will be impossible before you so tewali chigambo ekitayinzika god gives us the kind of faith we need as small as a mustard seed but this faith he gives us the, 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 the change it can cause and this change no matter how big it is let it be before you let it be known unto you that nothing no challenge no problem is permanent before your life naye chimanye era chikirize nte waliwo okusomozebwa kwa luberera now never apply a permanent solution to a, a permanent problem eranga toteka wo toteka nga wo chakuddamu echo luberera eri embera enziwe yo luberera life goes through challenges obulamu buyita mu kusomozebwa know that and keep your faith echo chimanye era kuma okukiriza ko the most dangerous thing to lose in life is your is not your car not your house not Sin- your loved one not Sin- your relative that but the most important and dangerous thing to lose in life is your faith our uh, the, the, the most uh, the, the example we have is in the book of Matthew chapter 27 Echokulabira ko wano tuyinzo okogera ku matayo esura ya bilimu omusanvu. Ah verse 5. Onyo rock rock 5. Uh, when uh, Judas Iscariot uh, 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 threw out the silver the silver coins into the temple. Yeah uh, Judas Iscariot we asula eh eh feza muyekalu. And he departed and went and hanged himself. Na afuluma na agenda ne yetuga. My dear My, my dear fellow believers bananga bakiriza banange let's not get to such tulemo kutuka ku serio because whenever your faith kubanga buli okukiriza ko 
is gone or has left you you left with nothing so the next thing you are going to do is you you are going, going to end into his death nothing is permanent as change in the book of Exodus it says chapter 3 uh, verse 1 for every for everything there is a season a time for every matter under the sun. Therefore, be aware and expect change to come your way. So we need to know that change is inevitable. The change we normally talk about is the change that we face as believers in life. This change might be a death of a loved one. Uh, you've lost your job. Uh, you've lost your pastor, someone you trust in, something you trust in, most in, in you trust. But always and always through the challenges that you go through. Know that without faith it is nothing to it is it is impossible to praise God. And know that through faith you are more than a conqueror. So let me hope you've been you've been blessed. Keep your faith. Never lose your faith. Your faith is, is in, in what you believe in. If you believe in God. And you, you, you assign him as your source of everything you need. Source of, uh, the source of your healing. He's a healer. Source of your provision. He's a provider. For he says in the book of Matthew chapter, uh, chapter 6, for we should know that it is from the kingdom through faith as citizens of the kingdom is the source of all that we need. And the key to access all that we need is through faith. Let's keep our faith and keep God in the driver's seat. And may God bless you.